So I guess I never got to finish there on that last video, but uh, Francis Bean, I said, adds up to 88. And then, I don't know, is it a play on Pope Francis? I know um, France, Pope Francis, I did a bunch of stuff about San Francisco. It's all about Francis of Assisi, Pope Francis, San Francisco. whole bunch of stuff all adds up to the same thing. Um, but anyway, let's look a little more into Francis Bean here. She was born on August 18th, 1992, and she is 22 years old. August 18th, if you convert that for like Julian and Gregorian, it's actually August 5th, and August 5th is the 218th day, which 218 is the 49th day of the year. Kind of interesting. Uh, she was also named after Francis McKee, the guitarist for the Vaselines. And it doesn't say the uh, actual day, but it says she was born in 1966. So that means she's either 49 or she will be 49 this year. And then also Bean comes from that Kurt thought she looked like a kidney bean on the ultrasound. And the word bean adds up to 22. Francis is actually 66. Even more interesting with Pope Francis adding it. Well, it's spelled different, but weird. Um, Bean, though, 22. I guess um, another interesting thing is that next year, Kurt Cobain would have been 49 years old. So next year on February 20th would be Kurt Cobain's uh, 49th birthday. And I've talked about how I really think that something significant with it is going to happen in 2016. Uh, it just seems like the year because it's the 28 year uh, the last year of the cycle or whatever. Um, anyway, just also wanted to point out here, it's it's been going on longer than I thought it has. I thought it was from Space Jam, but Space Jam has really just been brought out a lot. Um, anyway, like even Robin Williams is, she he started in San Francisco and he's known as leading the San Francisco comedy renaissance. Thought that was pretty interesting. There's all kinds of stuff with Robin Williams. Not going to go that in depth with it. Um, like, you know, August 11th, 811, 63. Uh, Michael Jordan was born in 63. The San Francisco Giants won the World Series last year. San Francisco. Um, the movie Hook, actually, Hook adds up to 49. And he's pretty famous for the movie Hook. Dustin Hoffman is Hook. And he was born on August 8th, 8-8 eight, eight of 1937 and is 77 years old this year. The movie is 144 minutes long. I've talked about that in Chicago, Illinois, and 4-4 four, 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 and Obama and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff with it. So just wanted to point that out. Uh, get back to some Kurt Cobain stuff here then. Now, you know most likely he was murdered um, for another reason, and not all about this corny love, Tom Grant, whatever. I mean, there's these videos. Um, this was actually the inside, uh, a, a thing on the inside cover of a booklet, a picture of um, In Utero, the album, the last album before he died. Um, and he's wearing this shirt right here that says Flipper on it. And somebody actually flipped the shirt and, like, mirrored the image. And it's... It's just ridiculous. I mean, there's no, there's no way. So you flip the shirt, and like it says, flipper right here, but it's flipped now. The the images, and it's literally nine eleven with an airplane. I mean, are you kidding me? Yes, you can take that as whatever, but it's it literally says nine eleven, and that is an airplane with the two towers. I mean, give me a break. Here's even a zoomed in uh, thing of it when you flipped it. 9-11 and the airplane. But this video isn't all. Um, I'm a huge, I used to be a huge fan of Weird Al at least. He's even coming to uh, Omaha and I, I totally want to get tickets. But uh, Weird Al is all about the number 27. And here I'll pull it up. And I talked about this in probably one of the first videos that I actually talked on. 
Um, and it was, it's a mess. It's a horrible video. But uh, um, I didn't know how to, like, stop it and restart it and all that. So uh, anyway, but he even admits it that he puts the number 27 into a lot of stuff because it happened and he thought it was a funny number. So he puts it into everything. Well, that's very interesting because this year is the whole, uh, the 27 year. It's th This year is all about 27. Last year it was 26, but this year it's 27. And I'll just type it up here really quick. So 1927 is 88 years ago from this year. And 1988 is 27 years ago from this year. So that's why I say it's the 27 year. It's all about 27. And then you got Kurt Cobain. The official documentary coming out last year, 1926 was 88 years ago, and 1988 was 26 years ago, and that that actually comes up again here with Weird Al. That's why I wrote it in here. Anyway, um, I just actually copied and pasted this from a wiki. I just typed it on like Yahoo, uh, Weird Al 27. So you can do that if you want. Um, it just freezes my computer up, so I put it in a a thing here on my computer so it don't freeze up. But there's just all kinds of stuff. That has to do with 27 from his concerts to his, um, he's a movie that has 27 chapters, uh, just all kinds of stuff. You can look it up for yourself. Um, just wanted to point it out. He's all about the number 27. And Kurt Cobain died at age 27. So Weird Al actually remade um, Smells Like Teen Spirit, and he called it Smells Like Nirvana. And there's no there's no twenty sevens in this video whatsoever. Um but something very interesting happens here and uh that's why I wanna point it out. And there's it, it's just so so ridiculous. Okay, well first thing in this uh music video here, right here, I'm not sure if this is him, but that's who it's supposed to signify, um, is Billy Barty, because Weird Al has a movie called UHF and in the actual the documentary part of the movie where he talks about the movie he actually mentions that this guy uh started making movies in 1927 which is 88 years ago also kurt cobain died 27 so this guy is like um i'll just show you here billy barty bb 88 um <laughs> he was 114 centimeters tall there's 44 um, and then years active, 1927. So when Weird Al said that, uh, it makes a lot of sense. But what's ironic is that, so his name is BB88, and he started making movies 88 years ago this year. But what's he doing with this camera? He's shooting Kurt Cobain's head with the camera. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what he's doing. And that's what he's doing. And let's watch it here again in a few more seconds. Watch what happens. This girl, or whatever, guy, I don't know, grabs this person's head and rips it off and throws it. Are you kidding me? It's so ridiculous. They actually do it at a minute six, which is 66 seconds. Well, let's just watch it again here. They literally grab that person's head off and rip it, rip the head off and throw it. And Kurt Cobain shot himself in the head, supposedly. I mean, come on, what are the odds of that? Even in this video, at the very end, instead of saying like, ah, yeah, 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 he says, sayonara, sayonara, like he's leaving, and then they blow up this, they push the deal and a building falls down. Why does that happen? I don't even know what building that is, so maybe it's some other significant building. But kind of weird. Um, I also forgot to talk about the uh, the band Flipper on his shirt with the 9-11 and the airplane. They're actually a band from San Francisco from 1979. And 79 is 22, but also it's San Francisco. And the lead singer actually was born on October 4th, the big 88 day. Uh, so I just found that kind of strange and I wanted to put that out there.